Howdy folks, Brother Jim reporting here. Hashtag, Deep State is doing community service and restitution for their crimes. Spread it around. The media is in a full panic after yesterday. Attorney General Bill Barr drops the bomb on the Democrats. Trump was spied on by Obama Deep State during campaign. Bill Barr sent the Democrats and their stenographers in the media into a tailspin on Wednesday when he said Trump's 2016 campaign was spied on. Now, he didn't use the words Obama deep state, but it's pretty obvious many politicians are using it. Democrats and their lying media were in full shock. Top Senate Democrats later called on Attorney General Bill Barr to walk back his spying allegation. Can you believe this? We're going to tell the highest... uh, commander of justice in the land to walk back what the main fake stream bought off mainstream media thinks of justice and now the liberal media is in full panic mode the truth is out from sean hannity what's the truth and the mainstream media they're trying their very best to play down all the bombshells we have tonight Washington Post fake conservative writer Jennifer Rubin actually calling on Barr to be impeached. Her fellow far left conspiracy sycophants at at, uh, MSNBC, tinfoil hat conspiracy theory MSNBC, fake news CNN, also trashing the attorney general. Gee, they didn't do that to Rod Rosenstein or Mueller. Take a look. I spy an attorney general giving credence to conspiracy theories. It feels like we that basically the attorney general gaslit the country. Bill Barr, one of our nation's most respected lawyers, a two-time attorney general, turned in his tortoiseshell glasses for a tinfoil hat. Barr has made really clear, I'm going to be an engine for the president of the United States. I am not the attorney general for the country. The attorney general of the United States in a dog whistle to Sean Hannity is a big deal. He is a flunky for Donald Trump. He's not an independent thinker. He sounds good. He seems sincere. But if you look at what he does, not what he says, then you see the actions of a hatchet man here, and it's really disturbing. Conspiracy theorists for two and a half years lying. The very people that lied for two and a half years. They don't want their tinfoil hat conspiracy theories, their lies exposed. They've been pushing it every second, every hour, every minute of every day, including their coverage of this very topic just a few months ago. Take a look at this. What we've seen and heard from the president in the past five days may be the biggest lie of all. Repeatedly, and with no facts to back him up, making the outrageous claim that the so-called deep state spied on his campaign. This phony baloney story about a spy on the campaign. To call them a conspiracy theory is to give them too much credit. The notion that somehow the FBI implanted, planted uh, someone inside the campaign to spy on the campaign is just not true. This un- proven narrative of a spy being placed inside his camp. Now what's unproven is your mouth. Pain. Did the intelligence community spy on, on President Trump and his campaign? Uh, no, we did not. They did, and they lying, lying for two and a half years. Clapper. And lying to you, the American people. Pres- Folks, the deep state is doing restitution for their crimes by working for us i told you i gave you that trump card god just uh trump just pulled the biggest trump card of the century video it's on the front of my channel now let's go back a little bit we have lindsey graham that flipped about six seven months ago way back in october all of a sudden he's on the trump team when uh so-called Zublik, who no, none, no, nobody wants to believe in, reported that John McCain was terminated, which was Lindsey Graham's best friend and war mongers in previously. Lindsey Graham's guilty of many crimes. That's why he's flipped. You have so many people are flipping. It is obvious, it is in your face. The Dems are really shaking now. And the not only that, but the Dems who are now working for Trump, previously Dems, Obama appointees, 
are scaring the bejesus out of all these others because they're saying, what the hell, what are you doing? Bill Barr is another one. That's right, he was great friends with Mueller. And Lindsey Graham and many others. You have, uh, I forgot who else it was. Uh, another Obama appointee is re really squealing now and producing all the proof of all this spying. I uh, forgot his name, James... Uh, that's it. James Baker tells Congress he received Hillary-funded junk dossier from liberal hack reporter David Korn. And he's being grilled right now. And boy, he was asked also that uh, was uh, the whole Trump administration and other people spied on? And he wouldn't even, he refused to answer. It's coming out, folks. The Trump hammer of justice is getting worse and worse. Representative Doug Collins, a Republican of Georgia, on Tuesday released transcript of former FBI counsel James Baker's first interview with the House Judiciary Committee. James Baker gave two testimonies to the House Judiciary Committee in October of 2018. According to the newly released transcript, James Baker told Congress that he received parts of the Hillary-funded junk dossier from radical left-wing Mother Jones reporter David Korn before the 2016 presidential election. Oh, another great thing. Senator Ted Cruz is calling for Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google to be regulated by the government. He's threatening them now. Woo, the hammer of justice for our First Amendment could be coming soon in America. Don't, uh, don't bet that it's going to be for other nations, though. As we continue, David Korn published an article in Mother Jones on October 31st, 2016, where he quoted Christopher Steele. However, he did not mention Steele by name, nor did he disclose the salacious parts of the dossier. A version of the 30, full 35-page dossier was published by BuzzFeed on January 10, 2017. Korn later told the media that he gave parts of the junk dossier to James Baker after the election. This contradicts Baker's testimony. More purging, perjury before the Congressional Test uh, Committee. Baker's lawyer cut off Jim Jordan when he asked Baker if he talked to David Korn about anything the FBI was working on, specifically the Steele dossier. Quote, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut, not let him answer these questions right now. You may or may not know he's been the subject of a leak investigation, which is still a criminal leak investigation that's still active at the Justice Department, Baker's lawyer told Jim Jordan. Baker told Representative Jordan that his good friend David Korn was anxious to get the fake dossier over to the FBI when Jordan asked Baker if Korn told him where he got the dossier from. He said he couldn't recall, but that there was a 302 taken of his interview with the FBI about about it. Baker told con Congressman Mark Meadows, a Republican of North Carolina, that he gave the dossier to top FBI official Bill Priestap without even reading it. Meadows scolded, scolded Baker. So you lack curiosity to read something that significant? Meadows asked Baker. That seems strange. I mean, I would probably have read it, Meadows added. Baker's told Meadows that he also received a version of the fake dossier from Michael Sussman, a lawyer for Perkins Coie, the law firm that represented Hillary Clinton and the DNC during the 2016 election. There's all kinds of things going on. You got the Nixon, Holly Weird Nixon uh, cult of child prostitution, abuse, racketeering, it's a, and, and then this is tied to Hillary Clinton as well. Yes, the Nixon cult is tied to Hillary Clinton. Big time. And, and then you have all these Hollywood people buying, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, paying for their kids, paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for their kids to get better score, SAT scores so they can go to great colleges. And they're all, and they refuse to take uh, their plea deal given to them. So now it, they are charging them with higher crimes. <laughs> it's just this is this is really cool. I mean, I love this justice coming on. 
As we continue here, why would an attorney have this evidence that Perkin Coey met as Zaff's baker, to which he replied, he told, he said that there had been, I'm not sure exactly how they originally learned about that information, but what he told me was that there were cyber experts that had obtained it. So now we know that the FBI received versions of the Hillary funded fake dossier from multiple anti-Trump sources, including David Korn, Bruce and Nellie Orr, Michael Sussman, plus other shady Clinton linked sources at the State Department like Sidney Blumenthal and Cody Shearer. Oh, the ball of yarn just keeps unraveling and people's names are just being implicated with the Clinton cabal day after day. Proof is all coming out now. And we have a new Attorney General, Bill Barr, who's doing community service. Oh my goodness. Things are looking bright for the hammer of justice in America. Stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more news today uh, to make up for yesterday, my sabbatical. No, it's not a Sabbath, but it's a sabbatical where I take some time off once in a while. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very important announcement. Would you like to see most of your illnesses go away? Let me introduce you to the Water Smacker, a new modern breakthrough in science has come to knowledge ridding your body of many toxins through this state-of-the-art new technology. The testimonials are endless. People have been healed of shingles, pancreas survivor healed, colon cancer patient healed, your skin returns its oil back to itself and elasticity. Gray hair goes away. Look younger. Red blood cells return to being round. Plaque in your arteries is wiped out. Blood pressure is lowered. Feel stronger and have more energy. Return to a more youthful feeling and look. Pick up your water smacker today for only $350. And don't forget to mention Brother Jim sent you. The link is down below along with the website and other videos for a much longer description. Thank you.